dedicated to each and every one of you who appreciate a great glass of wine. You know what I mean? It's Monday. Let's raise a glass to the beginning of another week. It's time to unscrew, uncork, or saber a bottle. And let's begin exploring the wine glass. Happy December, my friends. It's been a busy few weeks for me preparing for Cap Franc Day, and I was unable to record a new episode for you. But since we just celebrated the sixth annual Cab Franc Day, I thought I'd do a best of episode. It's a short episode, but one that has gotten a lot of feedback, both as a blog and a podcast. It's a love story that lasts throughout the time. And the wind of pleasure tells the story of Cabernet Franc and Sauvignon Blanc, a love story like no other. Enjoy, but you may want to keep your AirPods on for this one. Slancha. I want a nice glass. I want to give a big shout out to Palm Tree Pictures for leaving this five star review. Great and fun podcast to learn and share about wine. I recently had the pleasure to not only hear Lori's podcast, but also partake in one of them. Lori is a fantastic host who's passionate about wine and anything associated with it. Thank you, Palm Tree Pictures, for listening and for leaving this fantastic review. This truly is the best way to show support of the podcast and to help let other wine followers find Exploring the Wine Glass. Blanche. Hey, everybody. I'm Lori Budd, a UC Davis winemaking program, Somme Day service, champagne specialist, and WSET Level 2 graduate. You can find Exploring the Wine Glass on all the socials, as well as your favorite podcast catchers. If you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time to swipe, subscribe, rate, and review. I promise I'll never tell you what to drink, but I'll always share what's in my glass. As she sat in the vineyard, taking in the fresh air, she thought to herself, when will things change for her? She stretched her tendrils out to absorb the last bit of sun that was dropping below the horizon. She took a breath as the fog rolled in, knowing that the temperature would be dropping soon. The warmth of the day was about to leave. She began to envision ways to keep herself warm. Her mind began to wander to places she wasn't sure they should. She fell asleep with visions of a special someone rescuing her from the weariness of her day. She awoke the next morning, disappointed, as the seductive fog began to recede. Her leaves uncoiled as the heat increased and her stomata unwillingly opened to accept the fresh carbon dioxide. As the day progressed, she thought to herself, this will be the day. She felt deep down in her roots that today was special. As she absorbed the nitrogen and phosphorus from the soil, she could sense today was going to be remarkable. She wasn't sure how she knew it, she just did. She felt it in her canes and cordons. Today was the day that would change her life. She couldn't pinpoint it because really nothing was different, but her roots were screaming and she knew she had to listen. The hours passed by as she sat upon her trellis and waited, holding on to her dream. Her aspirations lowered as the sun sunk below the ocean. She was about to resign and call it a night when she felt a cool breeze, a breeze that was comforting, a breeze that screamed seductiveness, a breeze she couldn't resist, a breeze that whispered her name, Sauvignon Blanc. She heard it the first time, but ignored it, thinking she was imagining it. Then she heard it again, Sauvignon Blanc. She was positive her name was being whispered throughout the vineyard. She couldn't control herself. Her pistol stood upright in the breeze as she listened to the murmur that was calling her name. The wind and whispers continued to intrigue her, and she realized how the fullness of her ground cover warmed her in the cool night. She waited, anticipated, and fascinated about who was calling out her name. A few minutes later, her questions were answered. His name was Cabernet Franc, and his message was clear. She watched as he entered her block and observed that his stamen was quite impressive, full of pollen and ready to be shared. She wasn't stupid, though. She had heard of him before. He was a real catch 
Other varietals had tried to reel him in, but no one could. She shivered silently as Cabernet Franc approached. It was at that moment she knew she couldn't resist him. She knew she wouldn't resist him. She knew that the pleasure of one night would stay with her for the rest of her life. And that is exactly what it was. When she awoke the next morning, he was gone. Her scion ached with the memory while her trunk reveled in it. One night of sheer pleasure, a pleasure she would never thought she could ever experience, she will now never forget. As the days passed, she recognized that things were different. As her canes began to grow and the length of her internodes shortened, she realized her buds were a bit fuller, a bit more distinctive. She knew then that the most pleasurable night of her life would not only be a memory, but would lead to an offspring. An offspring that this world would appreciate more than she herself or the vine that had a chance crossing with her. A varietal that would be one of the world's most widely recognized red wine grape varieties, and she immediately knew what she would call him. Cabernet Sauvignon would be the new Bordeaux King, and may he reign as long as she remembers the pleasure of the night that created him. If you enjoyed my little love story of Cabernet Franc and Sauvignon Blanc. Cab Franc is very near and dear to me and to our sponsor, Dracina Wines, a true Cab Franc house. Their wines consistently receive 90-plus ratings in Wine Enthusiasts and double gold medals in the San Francisco Chronicle. Every year on Cab Franc Day, December 4th, Dracina Wines release their Reserve Plumber Vineyard Cabernet Franc. It's now available on their website at dracinawines.com. Use discount code EXPLORE to get 10% off of your order today. Slancha. Right into wine. So you and I... This has been another episode of Exploring the Wine Glass. Thanks for listening. If you have suggestions on what topics you would like me to discuss, please reach out on social media. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as Exploring the Wine Glass. I am also on LinkedIn as Lori Hoytbud. Of course, you can always email me at exploringthewineglass at gmail.com. If you enjoyed what you heard, please rate, review, and subscribe to help others find me more easily. And most importantly, tell your wine-loving friends, because if you like the podcast, they will too. Music is Wine by Kevens. Until next week, slancha. No, 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 never let you go. Oh, 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 no, 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 I want to let you go, go oh, oh, right now. Yeah.